Thank you. So can we please limit our questions to one question because there's a lot of people that want to get to it. Um, we have one question in the back and then Nati, Zika. Thank you. Uh, quick question. So thank you for doing this, first of all. Say theoretically I had uh, property, land, and uh, I wanted to get Bitcoin in exchange for the land. How do we go about making that a legal process in this country? <laughs> thank you for asking that question, Nate. So <laughs> two months ago, I got here and I ran into Nate and he's like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm trying to buy a house using Bitcoin in Ethiopia. And it, it, it turned into an impossible feat. The real estate companies didn't want it. The banks didn't want it. They don't really acknowledge it. They don't recognize it. Um, so, you know, how can we purchase, you know, property using Bitcoin? Unfortunately, right now in Ethiopia, it's not possible. You can't use it as the payment method during the transaction, and you can't use it as what I was looking for as a proof of fund, right? So, that process in Ethiopia is currently not possible. <laughs> in the United States, there are plenty of companies, even you know, now we're getting to a point where banks will recognize it. Um, my sister bought a home a few months ago. Uh, she has, you know, her and her husband have some crypto in their assets. And so they were able to print their Coinbase account, you know, uh, statement and bring that to their, um, you know, their, their mortgage lender, right? So in the United States, it's possible now. The tools, I'm actually working with a, a company that's building those tools right now, so it's a little bit more efficient. Um, so in the United States, it's possible. In Russia, it's possible. In you know, a lot of you know, these countries um, that have recognized Bitcoin as an asset, or as in a security, or as some type of money, it's possible. Um, with countries like Ethiopia, you know, because even our US dollar systems are so, you know, you'd say backwards, I assume it's gonna take a little bit of time, um, and a little bit of lobbying and a little bit of push, maybe we'll get there.